Hey everyone, I just wanted to take some time to, to share the story of why I feel called to the city of Detroit. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is because when you say that you're called somewhere, there's normally one of two responses. There's kind of that raised eyebrow, like, you know, are you crazy? Are you sure God's calling you to that? Or there's the response of, you know, no questioning whatsoever, because when you say call, that's like the trump card. Like, I feel called, God has called me, and you can't question uh, God's calling. Uh, and so people don't want to question God's calling on your life. And so I thought I'd take some time to explain uh, my story of why I feel called to the city of Detroit. I love hearing other people's stories of why they feel called. This is mine. Um, first things first, you know, when I was in college, I remember listening to certain pastors on podcasts who would talk about the city and uh, the importance of having churches in and around the city. And on this blog, you'll see me post some of those sermons. But they would talk about how uh, you know, the, the heartbeat of America tends to be the, the country, or we think it's the country, and things slow down there. But when we think about culture, culture tends to spring from urban centers, and so it's important for uh, churches to be in the places where culture is springing from so that we can affect the larger culture, to be in the city uh, and of the city. Um, not in a, in a sinful way, but to be part of the city, to have a vested interest in the city itself. And so... Um, that was just kind of me playing around the edges, though. I liked what they had to say. Uh, I'd hang out in the city of Detroit. And I remember loving the city of Detroit, but uh, I didn't really feel like a, a call to be there at that time. I graduated from college in 2010, and I went three hours west to Holland, Michigan, which is apparently the second happiest city on Earth. They like to tell you that when you first get there, so I thought I'd tell you all. Um, but I had a really bad time there. I had a bad roommate situation. Uh, the schooling, uh, was, I felt like I'd already learned all of it because I had a great um, you know, undergrad education and uh, had a bad church experience there. And so I really felt like Holland is not for me. But while I was in Holland, on the weekends, I would drive 70 miles uh, to a city called Kalamazoo. And there was a house in Kalamazoo with uh, eight or nine people who had chosen to live together with each other in Christian community. Sunday wasn't enough for them. Wednesday night church wasn't enough for them. They wanted to kind of live with each other and bump up against one another and do life together. Doing life wasn't a, a motto for them. It wasn't something that was used to sell small groups. It was their life. They lived together, they'd buy groceries together, they'd pray together, uh, they'd eat dinner together. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. So I really felt like maybe that's what God wanted me to be a part of because there was so much healing that took place for me in that house uh, over this, the course of that year while I lived in Holland that maybe this is where God wants me. And I remember coming uh, back to Detroit and my friend Cliff sitting me down. He was the young adults pastor at Woodside Bible Church in Troy, Michigan. He sat me down. This guy's had a lot of spiritual weight in my life. And he said, hey, Calvin, I'm leaving. And I remember my heart just sinking. And he said, but, but I'm not leaving, leaving. I'm leaving to plant a church in the city of Detroit through Woodside, and I want you to be a part of it. And I remember if my, if my heart sank, I remember my heart jumping after that. And, but I was kind of like torn because I was called to, or not called, but I felt like, okay, maybe God's calling me to Kalamazoo. Maybe God's calling me there. Uh, and I already had some stuff kind of in motion to move there and just kind of follow. I, I wasn't sure if God was calling me, but I was going to go. And, but I was torn over this, this city of Detroit because I really did love the city of Detroit. And I really felt a call to a city. And uh, stuff kind of happened. And I, you know, I was like, hey, God, you know, you're going to have to you know, open this door or, or you're going to have to open the door to Detroit or close the door to Detroit to let me know. You're going to have to open the door to Kalamazoo or close the door to Kalamazoo to let me know. And the door closed on Kalamazoo. Some stuff happened. God closed that door. I went to Cliff and said, I'm all in. I'm all in. And I remember just kind of the look in his eye, like, you're all in? And I was like, I'm all in. And so, um, but part of the challenge is to actually not just be people who commute into the city, because right now I live in Warren, Michigan, which is about 20 minutes away, but not just to commute into the city, set up a cool worship service, and then head back to the safety of suburbia, but to actually move into the city, have a vested interest in the city, to pay the taxes in the city, to live in and amongst the people of the city, and be an urban missionary in that context. And so that's why I feel called to the city of Detroit, that I've been called called to be a part of this church in Detroit that's not just a church that sets up and tears down, but a church that actually has a vested interest in the community that it's in. And so I feel called 
to move into the city. I don't know where I'll move. Hopefully in the next few weeks, I'm going to have some really cool conversations. I'll talk about that uh, in, uh, in some upcoming blogs. But I just wanted you guys to know that's the story of why I feel called. I welcome your questions. I welcome your prayers. I welcome your support. I'm going to start asking for money in the next uh, few months I'm going because I feel like I'm an urban missionary. And so missionaries, you know, write letters and all that kind of stuff. I'm figuring all that out. Um, but that's my story. Um, that's what God has called me to. It, it is crazy. Um, it's costly. I'm going to lose a lot of stuff in the process, but it's what God has called me to, and it's worth the risk. It's worth, uh, it's worth going. God has said, um, come and follow, and, uh, and so I'm, I'm going. I'm following, and you know, I'm going to follow him wherever he leads me. So anyway, thanks. That's my story. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.